Okay, I admit it. I'm kind of a gear junkie. And since I've lived on the road in my RV for five years, I've bought a lot of duds and I've bought some great stuff as well. But today, I'm gonna to tell you about a few items that are my new absolute favorites. I wouldn't be without them. I have them in both of my RVs because they make my life so much better and so much easier. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Robin with Creativity RV. And man, it is windy out there. I've been waiting to film this video that I've been very excited about, but the wind's been crazy, so I just had to go ahead and do it. So if you see me wobbling and hear some squeaking, that's why hopefully it will go away soon. Like I said, I have a few items today that I have been dying to tell you guys about because they have saved my bacon or have made my life so much easier. And so I'm going to get right into it. If you go to the description of this video or pinned at the top of comments, you will see the link that will take you to all of these items so you can check them out for yourself. I'm going to give you guys prices as I go along, but one caveat, you know, prices are changing. Um, there's lots of sales going on. Prices could go back down. They could go back up. This is what I see today. Okay, right here is the first thing I want to tell you about. This is such a game changer. If you live in an RV, this is a quick zip sheet. You guys know that if you live in an RV, to put a fitted sheet onto a bed is a nightmare. You have to like do yoga or, you know, do twister to get the corners in there. And before I had this, I needed to wash my fitted sheet and I just didn't want to do it. You have to do it, but you pull muscles even getting back there to get the thing tucked in. Well, forget all that because now we have the quick zip sheet. Now these come in RV sizes and crib sizes if you know anyone that has a baby. Now see here how it has a zipper. They send you a fitted sheet with this center portion in the middle zipped in. So you only have to put the fitted sheet on one time. And then when you want to wash the part that you're actually sleeping on, you just go around and unzip it. And it, it's this big. And then you throw it in the wash and you take it out um, and then you lay it back on the bed and you just zip it around the sides like this. The first thing I wondered is, wouldn't you scratch yourself on the zipper? No, it's actually tucked in in a little hem right here. And it's been a game changer for me because I don't know about you guys, but my cat is a puker <laughs> and he likes to puke on the sheet. I mean, like as soon as I put it on there, God love him. He's old, but I got white. They come in all different colors, but I got the white because you can bleach it and you can also buy extra center pieces only. So once you get the first set, if you want to have some backups like I do because of the cat, you can get them. You guys know RV sheets are already kind of expensive because they're an odd size. And so you just can't go to like Walmart and spend 20 bucks on a pair of sheets. And these are a little bit more expensive as well because they have all this extra work in them. A pair of queen size quick zip sheets for your RV is $233. This is the next amazing find I want to tell you about. It's an LP monitor. If you boondock like I do, propane is pretty key. It runs our refrigerators and maybe heat if it's cold outside. And in my truck camper, it's really hard for me to get to the propane. It's heavy and it's up tall. Um, so I found this little sensor. So here's how it works. See the back right there? This has to go in the center on the bottom of your tank. So when you're inside the house and you're wondering if you're running low on propane, you can just press these little buttons and you can see it's thinking, right? And it tells you how full your tanks are. And I have to tell you guys, when I went to film this video, I realized that my tanks are both empty or almost empty. It's gonna tell you that in just a second. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I have the sensor in my hand. So it's just showing you the other one. When I get my propane filled later today, I'm gonna to take a shot of it full so you can see what that looks like. Two of the sensors and the little monitor that you can keep inside are 70 bucks. But I tell you, I've been in situations where I thought my propane was almost empty and I was gonna break camp and go get propane when I didn't need to. 
and the reverse has also been true. For me, it gives me peace of mind and it's worth it. The next thing I wanna tell you about, I will not be without in an RV ever again. It's the Rosidio water leak alarm. Now, here's a picture of it. I don't have it in my hand because it's actually tucked away underneath my cabinets in my plumbing in both of my rigs. I have four, two in this rig and two in my other rig. And of the four RVs that I've had, I've had serious water leaks in three of them. It just happens because you're going down the road and everything is jiggling and things come loose and things crack. Like last winter, when I was camping near my family in an RV park and one of my neighbors came by and knocked on the door to tell me that I had an icicle. Here's a picture of it. All that happened was that I had a tiny little hairline crack in one of my valves. About a month after that, before I left the fifth wheel, I kept hearing this weird beeping noise and I couldn't figure out if it was upstairs or downstairs. And then I realized it was in the basement of my RV, right where you just saw that picture. So I took everything out. Sure enough, you guys, my pump had gone out and there was just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of water there. But if I did not have that alarm, I would not have known and it would have soaked all my stuff again and caused damage in my RV. So for me, this thing is a must have. Here's the good news. These things are $9 a piece and they'll save you money, believe me, because they'll tell you if you have a leak sooner rather than later. And here's how they work. They have these little metal prongs on the bottom of the puck. And when that hits water, the alarm goes off. And I've actually tested it here to show you. Yep. The tiniest little bit of water, there will be an alarm. So you can put this under your sink, in your basement, in your bathroom, wherever you're afraid that you might potentially have a leak. Save yourself money in the long run, believe me, <laughs> and get one of these alarms. The next thing I wanna tell you about is the AquaTank 2 water bladder. If you boondock like I do, and you wanna be out somewhere for some period of time, and you don't wanna break camp and take your rig into town to get water, this thing would be great. Now, of course, if you have an all-in-one like a van, I'm sorry, this may not work for you. Although there are smaller units like a uh, 25 gallon, 50 gallon that you'll be able to use. But because I have a truck, or if you have a, a towed, that would work also a tow car. Um, I can run to town with just my truck and fill up 150 gallons of water in this thing. Here you'll see a shot of it. This is me just filling it up. But with one of these bladders, you don't have to take a bunch of room to store big plastic water containers in the back of your truck, which I couldn't do anyway because there's no room for that with the truck camper. Instead, they send you what looks like a plastic sheet. When you fold it up, it should fold up about the size of a textbook. For me, it doesn't because I keep my hoses attached so it's really easy and I keep it inside of a milk crate. But I did have to get ratchet straps to tie it down in the back of my truck when my tailgate is off. When I have the tailgate on the truck, of course, I just put it back there, it was no big deal. These bladders come in different sizes and of course the bigger ones are more expensive. The one that I have, which is 150 gallons, was $160. I'm sure you'll be happy to know that I'm going to tell you now about another inexpensive item. This is that bug bite thing. Now, I'll tell you, I was dubious about this thing. Doug got it, I thought it was silly until I used it. Here's what it does. You put down this little lever right here and let's say you have a little bite. You put it onto the bite and you suck up like this. And I can feel it right now being sucked up. Here's a picture of my hand after I used it. And I had this massive spider bite, like one of those giant white ones on my hand. And I didn't think to take a picture of it <laughs> when it first happened because I was anxious to get my bug bite thing. But here's a picture of it after. You could see the ring on my hand where the suction happened. And right in the center of that, you can see this very faint little red mark. That was a massive bite 10 minutes earlier. I don't know if you guys saw the video where I got bit by some kind of a zombie emerald wasp last year in the desert. It was so heinous, the bite was so bad that we thought 
that the wasp laid eggs in my back and I had to go to the ER. I wish I'd had one of these because we would have just like tried to suck those babies right out of my back. The next thing I want to tell you about is the Latchet RV door lock. Now, I got this originally on my fifth wheel because when I went from an all-in-one into a rig where I had to walk outside from my truck to my front door, I didn't want to be fumbling for a key. So I started looking at keyless locks and I chose this one. I liked it so much that I bought it also when I got my truck camper. These locks on some of these old rigs are so janky that they look like they can be pried off or everybody has the same key. Here's what's great about this one. I will never be locked out because it has a code that you decide on, on the front of the door. You just say lock or unlock, put your code in and it unlocks, or you can use the fob and hit unlock or lock, or you can use a key. So there's three ways to get in. If you can't find your key or you're in a hurry or it's dark, it's no problem. This door lock makes me feel a lot safer. Right now it's retailing for $240. I know that's a lot. I had to really think about it myself, but you know, my safety is priceless and I'm glad that I got mine. This is the next thing I wanna tell you about. It's a pure enrichment HEPA air filter that's USB rechargeable. In an RV, even with the window shut, you get like a lot of dust and pollen and just like random schmutz that comes inside and you can like see it on the surfaces. Last year I was painting some watercolors and they looked fine until they dried. And when they did, there was a bunch of dirt in the pigment. And I mean, I clean, I dust, I vacuum. I could not understand why I had all of this dust floating through the air. And that's when I found this filter. Now, this retails for 40 bucks right now, but it's a HEPA filter. You can hang it, you can stand it up, and it has this little filter inside, which catches all the dirt. When this started to get full, I just went outside and knocked it out, and it works great. There are giant air filters you can buy out there, but you have to plug them in, it takes your power, and they take up a lot of space. This little guy really cleans the air in a small space well. You could put it in your car, you could put it in your rig, whatever. And finally, the nerd in me has to tell you about a book. This is Fedora's Best Road Trips in America book, and you can see that I really use this, you guys. I have discovered local museums and scenic overlooks and great restaurants and ghost towns, old cemeteries, all kinds of stuff in here on my route that I had no idea was there. And what's really cool about this is the way they organize it. They'll tell you about things along Route 66 or eco travel or uh, if you're into sports or if you want to see fall colors. I mean, just there's a ton of different trips in here. Now, I know it's kind of silly to call this RV gear, but for me, it is. For 22 bucks, this book has really enhanced my travel in the last year. Like I said, all the links for all these items and my t-shirts will be down below. I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next week. Until then, everybody have happy travels and be free.